Um, one word I would describe Liz would be trustworthy. Um, I can always go to her for anything. She's always listening to me and anything I have to talk about. And like, she's just an overall great friend. Humble, she's a very humble beast. Like she always does a great job at whatever she pursues, but she's always very um, to herself and humble about it. She's not gonna brag, but she's always gonna give you what you need and more. Is uplifting because she's always gonna be there for anybody and everybody. And she's just a good, positive person to be around. Um, one thing I'm going to miss about Liz is watching her play and learning from her. She plays the same position as me, so I've definitely taken a lot from her game and tried to incorporate it into mine. So it's definitely been a privilege to watch her play and watch her practice even. So I'm definitely going to miss that about Liz. Um, one thing I'm miss about Liz is that like, she's a silent leader. Um, no matter what's going on, I can always look up to her and like ask for advice, and like she's always willing to help. And then my most memorable moment from this year with Liz was her trying to get coached to dance, the little the foot dance, the little. That was really funny. That's an example of Liz just being Liz. We gonna miss you, girl. Liz, um, I'm sad to see you go, but I'm really excited to see where you'll go after this. Um, it's been really fun, like having chemistry with you and volleyball with you, and having you help me through both of those things and watching you play. And I wish you the absolute best after you leave here. And I know whatever you do in life, you're going to be very successful. And I hope that you're like really happy and that you find joy in whatever you decide to do. I really appreciate you, Liz. Hey, Liz. I'm a mission girl. But I just wanted to say that I really appreciate everything you've done for me this semester. You definitely took me under your wing and like been there for me no matter what. Random texts like, hey, how are you doing? And like, I really appreciate that. I know you're going to be great at everything you do. You're so smart and you're just awesome. So good luck, babe. You got it, girl. Love you, Bye. Liz. Good luck. Yeah. Hey Cam, and the word that reminds me of you is optimistic because with everything you do, you're cheerful with it, you're positive, and you're like a bright light that shines upon the team, and I appreciate you for that. A word that describes Cam is charismatic. She's always there for people, and she's just always trying to lead to the best of her abilities. So I think the perfect word to describe you is selfless. You constantly put everyone before you, even if you do need help, but you always give help to others, and I really appreciate that. My freshman year, her sophomore year, when we were running multiple suicides and girl took off her wig in the middle of the run, but my girl didn't stop running. <laughs> and our most memorable moment is when, I forgot who we were playing, but after you said, we came on the court talking about, set it up, set it up. And I just love your energy for that. We've made a lot of deep connections in your time here, and I know this will not be our last time seeing each other. I hope that we remain sisters for the rest of our lives and I'm really gonna miss you. And one thing that I appreciate that you brought to the team was definitely your positive energy. And that's always been something that we need. And next year, I'm gonna try to take what you brought and build on that. So thank you for that and thank you for everything you've done for us and for me personally. Love you, girl. Hey, Cam, I wanna wish you nothing but the best in life. Uh, your next chapter is going to be great things and never give up, never never let anybody get in your way. You got this. Okay, hey Cam, hey girl. You know, I want the best for you. I want you to keep striving with everything that you do. Keep working hard because you're going to get what you want. Love you, girl. Hey Cam, girl. Um, I just want to thank you for always being so selfless and for putting the city of Houston on your back. And the city's behind you. Your team is always behind you through everything. And I know great things are coming your way. And I wish you the very best. Love you, girl. Bye. 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 And that's a wrap. And that's a wrap. Kale and Lizzie Liz, I love you, girl. Can we put these in the bloopers? Yeah, my slow self with the memorable, memorable, memorable. <laughs> <laughs> a memorable, a memorable. Lizzie Liz, you know I love you, girl. <laughs> Tat it up. Tat it up. Tat it up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, like right when I was about to start, we were just waiting for you to walk in. Your hands. Wait, I gotta sneeze. Yeah, I did. Say hot chew, hot chew, hot chew. Are you supposed to look at the light? Oh no, but your bun looks really good. Your hair looks super cute. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Like, there you go. Your skill is nice too. I'm okay. enjoying your job. Sorry. We got so sidetracked. Yes, yes. She was like, tear it up after she went to go serve. <laughs> Cam is crazy, like, Cam has done some things, I just do it. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's my turn, she's okay. One word I can describe Paige is that she is very outgoing. She is one of the most animated people I've ever met in my life. The one word that I will use to describe Paige is competitive. One memory I can say that I will miss with Paige is winning a championship with her, getting the ring, and cutting down the nets. My favorite memory of Paige is watching her score 24 points in a game in memory of Kobe Bryant. She's very energetic. My favorite memory of Paige is, we have so many memories. We've been playing since we were six years old together from starting AAU to high school to two different universities. We won championship together. None of that compares to watching her overcome her injury. She came back and I watched her work hard. She went through a lot during the injury, but I watched her work hard and come back and become a better basketball player. And now I'm gonna be watching her walk across the stage. And I'm just a proud little sister. Paige, we wish you the best of luck in your next step of life. We will miss you on and off the court. We love you and you will forever be a lady blue devil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see? One word to describe Malik is uh, family. Me and him became really, really close last year, especially during the time when Kobe Bryant died because that's our favorite player. One word I would use to describe Malik is a brother. The reason why I would call him my brother is because when I don't have something, if he has it, he's gonna he's gonna give it to me. I'll find a way to get it done. One word I use to describe Malik is hardworking because he's passionate about the sport that he plays. One of my favorite stories when Malik was we was playing against um, Tougaloo, and uh, it was later in the season, and we needed that game to make playoffs, um, and I had to make two free throws to send the game to to win the game. Um, I missed the first free throw, and Malik walked over to me, he tapped my shoulder, and he said, what would Kobe do? Bring out your mama mentality. And um, I went up there, and uh, I made the next free throw, so that's probably my favorite story with Malik. A thing that I'm going to miss about him, though, like, whenever we were playing basketball, one-on-ones, after practice, or, like, just on an open day, he'll make me work harder, do extra stuff to try to get to a point for me to be better. Um, the reason I'm going to miss Malik is I'm going to miss competing with him at practices and going at him in the gym. We wish you the best. I love you, my brother. Be safe out there. Do your thing overseas, bro. You already know what I got to say, big bro. Two words. Mamba mentality. Keep going, man. Man, keep grinding and get it done. Big Yo. pro. Big pro. Thanks. One word that would describe Zay is family. He, uh, you know, he took us in as brothers, each teammate, and it would be leader. Uh, he's always helping me, whether it be in life, you know, whether it be involved in the athletic department, really. And so he's always just there for me in general, like a brother. One word I would use to describe Zayman is passionate. He's very passionate about his sport and his studies. One thing I would miss about him is he was encouraging. He didn't let, if he was down, you know, he'd pick us up and... One thing I'm going to miss about Xavier is his great work ethic. What I would miss about having him around is he's definitely funny. He would uh, give me a laugh whenever I need it. And so he would always just, whether I'm having a bad day or not, he would definitely cheer me up. Good, Good luck, Zay. We wish you the best in law school. One word I can use to describe the real is passionate. And I say that because he always brings energy to practice and always has a competitive spirit. It would be old head. Um, I would describe that because 
he is our age, but he acts like he's 35. Um, I've met him, that was the first guy I met when I was down here, so I definitely have a lot of memories with him. It's unpredictable, and I mean it in a good way, because this man is hilarious. You never know what to expect from him. He always making jokes, or you know, he always trying to get into something. And I mean that like off the court. One thing I'm gonna miss about where is the competitive spirit that he brings to every practice and every scrimmage we have, and how he brings energy to the court and has us all up and ramped up and ready for you know, to go on about our day. Um, one thing I'm gonna miss about him is his character. Um, he's always bringing like energy and kind of a comedic relief to the situation. So I'll probably miss that the most about him. And something I miss about him is the jokes always he'll tell about the calf. For example, he says somebody bailed me out of jail. He said I just did an indictment on Kearney. Like he, that man is just hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, that's the that's one thing I miss about real. Oh, oh God! God. Hey, good luck, boy. <laughs> good, luck, nah, good luck, fam. Good luck wherever you go, fam. We know you're gonna be great regardless. I want get get them buckets, bro. We believe in you for sure. I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs>
it was crazy. And they was getting like really, really frustrated. Like Cody just started fouling me and then Tyrone just started fouling me. Like it was really just, just wild. I've never seen these guys act like this before, but I just, I guess that goes to show what kind of basketball player I am. But you know, so that's, that was a great funny story. Good luck, Cody. And wish you the best, bro, going into grad school. You're a fighter, man. Keep pushing, keep fighting. Cody, you know it's always good with you. You always got the good determination. Wish the best for you and grab. Good luck, Tay. I wish you the best going out into the real world, bro. Love you, bro. Hey, bro, you been, you been making me laugh since I met you, bro. Keep pushing, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Man, all love, man. Wish you the best. Uh, safe travels to Boston. A word I would use to describe Kia as I've gotten to know her over the years is ambitious. She's very determined in everything she does. I've watched her grow in track, especially this year since it's her senior year. She's been working extra hard, you know, to make it to nationals and make get a good time in conference. So I'm very proud of her and everything that she's done. One word I would use to describe Kia is reassuring. Um, just her presence gives a sense of tranquility. For example, um, before a race when everyone's jumpy and excited, her just being there and her, her confidence just is so reassuring and gives us this sense of like we're going to succeed, so reassuring. One word I would use to describe Kia is considerate. The reason I say this is because during track practice she always checks on everyone and makes sure everyone finishes through with their workout. Kia has been a great addition to our team because of her leadership. She always makes sure everybody is not down, everybody stays up, and she stays up herself. And I know she goes through a lot with her hurdles, but she does an amazing job. And I'm going to miss you so much. One memory that I'm gonna have with Kia is our bus ride. She's my bus buddy and I'm definitely gonna miss her cause she's always consistently sitting by me and I know I can be a lot to handle, but she's always one willing to sit next to me and so I'm really gonna miss her being my bus buddy. What does Kia mean to the team? Kia's like a sister and she's always there looking out. Even when she might be tucked away in the corner, she's always there if you need something, always there to motivate you and always there to tell you you're gonna do good. What does Kia mean to the team? I think she represents motivation because she's a track runner and a cheerleader, and that's a lot to balance, but she does it well. We love you, Kia. I'm very proud of you, and I wish you the best in everything that you do. Um, ever since I met you, you've always been a leader since last year and this following year. I know you're going to do amazing in your future life, and I can't wait to see what you do. Um, I'm sending love and happiness and prosperity in your direction and hope that um, your, these next future steps lead you a long way. I'm going to miss you, Kia. I'm going to miss our smoothie trips after practice, and I wish you nothing but the best. to describe Kia is dependable. She's always there no matter what. Um, she's always there when you need her. And um, a memory I remember is after practice, we were all sitting around and playing music and Kia was there and she was dancing to um, acting like Young Barbecue. And um, she was dancing to um, Megan to Freak Nasty and I was funny. A word I would use to describe Kia is strong-minded. You know, anything that's thrown in her way, she's always overcome it, especially when it comes to cheer. We've had a lot of obstacles, but Kia never lets that get her down. And one memory that I have with Kia, <laughs> we was working on tumbling, and it was the day of her birthday, bro. <laughs> and she was working on her tuck, and she did it by herself. That girl laid it on her face, but she laid it <laughs> But then she got back up, and she did it again, and she laid it on her feet. But that's my favorite memory with Kia. A word I would use to describe Kia would be very determined. Kia is a very determined person. Whenever she wants something, uh, she makes it her business to get it done. My favorite memory with Kia would have to be one day at practice. We were just listening to music and she was just vibing out and having a good time. So 
So a word I would use to describe Jada is laid back. She doesn't really let anything stress her or get to her. She just really relaxed and she just goes with the flow. A memory that, or what Jada means to the team is she's always there when we have tumbling. She's helping others and helping them perfect their tumbling, especially when once upon a time we were supposed to be doing tumbling at competition. She was always the one that helped us work on our technique and getting over it. Um, I could say for Jada, she is very energetic and she's fun. It's never a dull moment with her. Um, whenever it seems to be down or like, She's always there to say, hey, don't be, you know, don't be down. It's okay. So, yeah. I would agree with Alex and both of um, KT 100%. Jada's a really lovable person. Uh, she's always there whenever you need her. She gets the job done. So a word I would use for Dede is warm or kind-spirited. You know, ever since I met Dede, he was always there. Even though I didn't really know him, like, he would always come and speak to me, especially if, like, I wasn't in a great mood. He would always be there to kind of cheer me up. One memory I have with Dede, and this is the most sweetest thing anybody's ever done for me, but me and Cookie, we weren't doing anything on Valentine's Day. And so Dede did a surprise Valentine's Day for us. And we got went in the chair office, and we ate pasta, and we watched movies, and it was just really sweet. He's always considerate and thinking of others, and he's always trying to put others before himself. Um, one word I use to describe Dede is kind. He's really kind. I don't know him that much, but from experience we had, it was always 100% pure, great reactions with him and experiences. Good luck, everyone. Wish you well. Kia, I wish you well in your future and you're like my big sister and like I said I wish you well in everything that you do and I hope you go very far and you know we're gonna stay like this. To Kaz I wish you well in everything that you do. I know you're gonna be a great psychologist especially with children because you have such a genuine heart and everything you do is pure and you have no bad intentions about what you do and I'm gonna really miss you because you really are my big sister and I hate that I didn't get to spend your last year with you here but I know that you're going to be great and you're going to do amazing things and hopefully we stay in touch as you as we grow older. Today, day, that's my boyfriend. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to miss you too. Um, you've meant a lot to me. Being here at Miller, you know, you always keep me happy and make sure that I'm not upset about anything. And so I know you're going to do amazing in the film industry because that's just who you are. Like, you have such a great passion for it. So I know you're going to do amazing. Jada, good luck on you uh, in your next chapter in life. Uh, I know you're going to go far with everything you want to do and anything you want to do. So keep up the great work. <laughs> if you had to choose one word to describe Amira and Kate, what would it be? Um, it'd be spontaneous. Amazing? That's two. But really amazing hilarious <laughs> they're hilarious leaders fun <laughs> amira and kate are both hilarious but they're both very talented i guess that's kind of cliche and they're both great leaders as well i would say their positivity i feel like positivity in a dance space is important all the time because one one minute we're all frustrated on a dance like you need that positive energy to keep your teammates going so i feel like positive definitely sets the tone for both of them what does your teammate mean to your team they mean everything to the team they keep us together they keep us balanced they bring laughter but they also bring responsibility and they bring um you know that level of strictness and discipline that we absolutely need I think they're so helpful, like anytime I'm struggling with anything, I think they're the first two people that are willing to help me and really sit down and break it down for me, so I appreciate them for that. I think they bring new ideas to the table and they also help show what ideas work, what don't work, and they also kind of just help bring the whole vision together. Kate is our captain. She is the driving force of this team. She has been this year. She's been an amazing leader. She's been an amazing friend. She's been an amazing sister to all of us. Um, Amira, she's come out of her shell so much and I'm so proud of her. She's so talented. She brings so much to the team, to every dance. No matter if she's shy or trying to act like it, we know she's going to deliver. So they bring a lot to it and we're going to miss them. 
yeah they're just great role models sisters family people i want to you know keep in touch with forever like we've created a bond so definitely role models my sisters mean everything to me um damn i love y'all y'all mean the world to me because since we started Y'all was part of what we needed, what we needed to bring to the table for this team. And I'm so grateful for all of the opportunities and all of the great things and performances and choreography that y'all have given to us, the creativity. Y'all mean so much to me. I, oh, it's too much. All right, come on. What is one thing you will miss the most about Amira and Kate? How funny they are. They are hilarious. I think they're the light of the team. They brighten my day every time I come to practice. I think also I'm gonna miss also their bond as well because throughout practice you would kind of see like they were like really close and it was just that connection, that energy that kind of really just helped the team as a whole and it was like okay we can really be like that as a whole. I'll dismiss all the good times and the memories that we always seem to have in our late night talks and sleepovers the most. I'll miss the energy that was kept throughout our whole situation. Like we had so many laughs together. Um, I'm upset that it started so late um, that I get, didn't get more time with them. This is just gonna be hard. I think I'm gonna separate them and say for Amira the most, I'm gonna miss being able to call her and just get up and go anywhere. If I'm ready to go out and do anything, I know Amira's gonna be down for whatever. Um, Kate, I'm just gonna miss laughing with Kate. Me and Kate are always on the same page in practice and, and she just gets me and I get her. And I love to find that, especially in an older teammate. And she's, she's just, they're both like sisters to me. So I'll miss them so much. I'm gonna miss our late night talks. Um, honestly, I'm gonna miss being up with them all night talking about life, talking about our dance problems and boyfriend problems. <laughs> I'm gonna miss uh, just being real and honest with them, like sharing what I'm really going through and them being able to relate. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna miss the protection from my sisters. Okay, and what are your final well wishes for Amira and Kate? That they do not stop dancing. Mm -hmm. Don't ever stop dancing, not even if you're on a dance team. Keep practicing, keep training. Go join a dance team somewhere else where you live. Do not stop dancing, ever. Y'all are way too talented. Kate, keep leading. Take that trait and that gift that you have and run with it. And your mass calm endeavors and your dance endeavors, whatever it is, keep being the leader that you are. Amira, keep shining. Keep breaking out of that shell. It's almost broken completely. Keep doing it in your work and your dance and anything that you do. Let the room know that you are here and you're making a statement. I would say never stop doing what you do. Never stop helping people because y'all are amazing mentors and y'all are awesome to the team. So take that and carry it everywhere else you go. Um, what I would say really is remember to always be that girl. Never let somebody tell you that you're not this, you're not that. Always prove them wrong. And at the end of the day, don't even, don't even give them too much energy, girl. Just let them know that you are here to stay. And that's just that on that. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your goals. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. <sighs> but go the distance. Do all that you can. Do your best and put your best foot forward always. And don't let nobody play with y'all. Because y'all the beast and y'all the baddest. Period. I'm not home. I love y'all. And... Never settle in your future. Like, that's what I wish for y'all in your future. Don't settle for nothing less than what you deserve. Because everybody deserves to be happy, no matter your job, your relationship, family. Like, never settle. Do what you want to do for yourself. Keep, if somebody bring you down, you need to keep that confidence that y'all already have up. Keep your self-esteem up. Like, don't let anybody tear you down. So never settle for nothing less than what you deserve.